One of the other wellness fundamentals is environment. That is making work a great environment to be in and work in. Now this is different to occupational health and safety because that has an overwhelming emphasis on safety. It's great, we need those components, no question. However, there are things that tap into the human spirit differently. For example, sunlight. We know that sunlight wakes people up. You know when it comes in the morning, but we also know from a scientific point of view, it has a massive potency. Fluorescent lights do not. Now, granted, we can't go start knocking out walls in every office space, but there are other ingredients that have that same kind of influence. For example, green plants, the colors that the walls are painted in, access to fresh air or getting a breeze through a space, the condition of the amenities, whether or not there's water available, food available, whether or not the, the chairs and the nature of the entire place is ergonomically satisfying, whether or not we're comfortable. There are so many things that tap into the human spirit, so much so you would have seen them in your workplace when somebody's brought in a plant or a new coffee machine or something and they've brought it in, everyone's oh, excited, oh, that's very nice, I like that. What is this? How do we just generate this energy with this like $17 plant or cheaper sometimes? This is about making an environment great to work in. That's what environment is about. But it goes beyond just these, these physical things. It also goes down to what about the relationships we have with the people around us? See, many people actually lack serious people skills. They trip over their words. They, they're well intended, but they've come from a community where a family where this is how it's communicated. And they come into this workspace and they don't know any other way to communicate. So are we actually helping people with their ability to communicate with each other? Now, this is not, you know, let's have a big kumbaya experience. This is fundamentals that people can be introduced to. For example, the way to be nice to someone, you open with a compliment and you follow up with a question. You're like, hey, great scarf, where'd you get it from? That's how you start a conversation. That ain't that hard. But some people don't have that capacity. Now that can be used with a customer, that can be used with a new employee that's coming in, that can be used between two people that just haven't been getting along too well, I don't know what to say to them anymore. We'll say something nice, follow up with a question. These are fundamentals and all of these create an environment that is well if they're present and it's very unhealthy if they're not present.